life in the mansion, how dates really work. Most awkward date you've ever been. And fantasy suites. Are you saying you were worried about being intimate with Becca? Yeah. yeah. We're taking you behind the scenes of The Bachelor. It's time for Roses and Rosé. Hi, everybody. I'm Lauren Zima, and things are about to get <gasps> juicy. You guys, I am here to answer all of your questions about what goes on behind the scenes on The Bachelor and Bachelorette. Thank you for all of your submissions. So many questions submitted. I love questions and comments. And I really love when you guys say things like, love you, Lauren, before your comments and questions. Because I need that. Thanks, Jerry Shavino. Also, everybody, our video next week will be one several of you have been asking for, the biggest breakdowns ever. So please submit in the comments some of your favorite breakdowns in show history. Anyway, so, Thank you all for all of the behind the scenes things you wanted to know. I have been on the phone with sources. I have been tapping and typing away to get the answers for you. Let's dive in. So first from Jerry, Jerry's first because of the kind comment. Jerry wants to know if the fantasy suites are shot consecutively in three days. Does The Bachelor really go to the fantasy suite with one girl right after the other the very next night? How is that not awkward? It is. So Jerry, here's the thing. It's all about scheduling. Sometimes there are gap days in between the fantasy suites and sometimes they are back to back. Kind of gross. Anyway, Laura wants to know how much contestants know about the dates before they go on them. Like, how do they know how to dress? If you're going to be bungee jumping off a building versus swimming in a hot tub in the middle of a field, how do you know what to wear? The answer is, we see the moment when it's revealed who will go on the date. Well, sources tell me that right after that, the producers basically just give contestants a brief description of the date, like not revealing too much, but just so they know what to wear. Dress appropriately. Drink every time I give a solid answer on this video. Some are better than others. Mm -hmm. Mary wants to know if producers ever get involved with preventing people from being sent home. Mary, that's a tough call because it's a question not everybody's super willing to answer. How involved is production with decisions that the leads make? I will say that from what I've heard from everyone, at the end of the day, it's the lead's choice on who's going to stay and who's going to go. Now, all that being said, does the producer talk to the lead? I mean, sure. Advise them? Discuss with them? Sure. I can't guarantee on what exactly is said, and I'm sure it varies season to season. But... I can't drink for that because that's all I can say. Anyway, Julie wants to know if there is a specific order in which the contestants first appear at the mansion and how do they figure out what their entrances and exits are going to be. Uh, actually, a lot of the time what we end up seeing on TV is not the order that people went in. They edit around, you know, and switch things, move things to make for a good episode. And a lot of people come up with the ideas for how they're going to enter, whether it's by playing a piano that's on wheels or uh, coming in on a horse or coming in a minivan. Hello. Hi. Cool ride. Whatever. A lot of people come up with the ideas themselves. I think that producers sometimes are part of the creative but you know what, it's a TV show. And what was everybody's favorite mansion entrance that they've ever seen? Let me know. Also, this goes beyond the mansion stuff. Like, remember when Corinne had that bouncy house? That was kind of Corinne's idea. You know, she wanted to do that. And they made it happen. The magic of television. Cheers to the producers. Anywho. Oh, now we're getting dirty. Sophia, I love it. Sophia wants to know, quote, what happens in the fantasy suites? <laughs> Just what goes on? Um, do they have sex? LOL. That's what she says. Does The Bachelor do it with both of the contestants? Well, Sophia, three people usually are in the fantasy suites episodes. But yes, the answer is yes. Um, Ali Fedotowski said that a lot of people sleep with each other in the fantasy suites. It does go down. And Chris Souls told E.T. that there is often protection provided in the fantasy suites, that it's on the nightstand. 
So keeping it safe, that's great. Also, the contestants have to be screened for STDs before they can ever be on the show. Keeping it less <laughs> sexual, what also happens in the fantasy suites is that they, for the first time, get some serious off-camera time together. So a lot of important issues are hopefully discussed. Rachel Lindsay said she wanted to know everything. She had a list. She wanted to know, you know, what, were, what was their credit score like from these people? Got to get those important questions answered in a real way. Okay, Cannon says, what is on the list of what they give you to bring? How many suitcases are you allowed? Just questions about what to bring. So, I looked into this. Everybody's allowed to bring two bags. One, two. Um, Colton, our new bachelor, <laughs> brought in one of his bags an air conditioner to paradise. He gave up a whole bag for a portable air conditioner because he'd heard it was so hot there. So you can largely put almost anything you want in those bags. But I have heard that you are not supposed to bring and shouldn't even bother to pack sunglasses and hats. If you guys have ever noticed during filming, you won't see people wearing sunglasses and hats because they cover your face. So that's why they're always squinting in the sun. Just squinting to that hot Mexican sun. Yeah. Um, also, you're not supposed to bring electronics because, no, you can't be on your phone. Anyway, um, speaking of, Greeniette wants to know if people take breaks where they can be on their phone. No. A lot of people do sneak in phones, from what I've heard. Some people sneak them in, but you're not supposed to be on a phone, and you often get caught. No phones allowed. Though Ben Higgins did tell me that when he was in a hotel once, because when they're traveling, they start getting put up in hotels, he found an iPad that was used to control the features of the room, and he got on the Wi-Fi, and he looked up his final three women. <gasps> he said it didn't affect his decision, ultimately. Okay, Larissa wants to know how the producers are able to get so close with the cast. Good question, Larissa. They do get close. I will say a lot of people are skeptical of these relationships between the producers and the cast, but they have to be close to get people to open up and talk about their feelings. I mean, these contestants are thrust into a world meeting all new people. You got to get close to get them to really talk and dive in and be on the journey and be vulnerable. And part of how they do that is that producers are specifically assigned to certain cast members. Like one producer will kind of be in charge of three-ish cast members. And then there's one producer who specifically works with the lead, with the bachelor. The Bachelorette. And that's how they get close. They spend time together and develop a bond. Um, gosh, I'm not drinking enough. I need to be giving myself more credit for answering these questions so well. Drink every time you think about the fantasy suites being back to back. That would be a no for me. Would you guys be okay with that? If it was my fantasy suite night, I'd be like, were you with somebody else last night? Okay, I gotta go. Uh, give me a day. See you tomorrow. Nope. It's just weird, isn't it? Is that just me? Then again, you're on this show in the first place, so it's all weird. Da 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 da. Steel wants to know. I'm getting. A, you know what? I will drink every time I probably get a YouTube name wrong. I'm sorry, guys. My YouTube name's just Lauren Zima. Everybody has these creative YouTube names like Yeti Kitty. What was it? It's like your aim screen name. That's remember when people ask you, what was your aim screen name when you were in like high school? Mine was Drama Queen and the year I was born, which I won't say. By the way, the only reason I'm not saying the year that I was born is not because I'm afraid of telling you guys my age, but because sometimes I give a fake year um, when I'm like signing up for things because I don't want too much of my real information out there. So I have a fake year and a real year and a fake birthday and a real birthday. I'm off the grid. Anyway. So, steel magnolias, <laughs> yard. I, I don't know. Steel wants to know how do the guys and girls spend their time in the mansion if they are stripped of phones and internet? Are they just socializing and drinking twenty four seven? Yes. Mm -hmm. That part I'd be down with. I've always said I would, I think, want to go on the show just to hang out in the mansion and, like, drink and, and make some friends for a while. It sounds fun. <laughs> so they are not allowed phones. They do not have access to the news. They are allowed to bring 
Books to a certain extent, I believe. I know that religious books are allowed. Um, journaling is allowed. But you see it on the show. People do a lot of working out. They do a lot of eating. Food isn't made for them. The kitchen is filled, but in the mansion, people make their own food. So cooking, that is spent time on. And swimming and drinking and tanning. Absolutely. Would you guys like to be in the mansion and do that, or would you get bored? Let me know. Ba -bum -ba -dum. Okay, Brittany. Brittany wants to know when the interviews are done. During the dates, they pull them aside and interview them right there. That's why the dates take so long. Laura is wondering if contestants get their phones back during hometowns and what restrictions are there when they go home. No, they don't get their phones back. And I called a couple people to find this out, you guys. They don't get to stay with their families either. They go back to their hotels. So when you're on your hometown, it's kind of weird, but you are only talking to your own family on camera. You don't like get a moment alone with them or anything. So it all happens on camera and then you gotta leave. You can't even sleep in your childhood room with your sync posters. Who am I kidding? Mine were Harry Potter posters. Anyway. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Okay, why do I keep singing that? Drink every time I sing that stupid little. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mama Beach, I like that name. Wants to know how much time the lead actually spends off camera with the contestant. Are they allowed to spend time alone with them? No, not really. Sometimes they make it happen. Jojo and Jordan actually just told us this. Hey. We got to hang out one night and eat in and out. We did During get to do it off camera. We did get to do that. I was begging for it for weeks, and yeah. we kind of did our our interviews after my hometown at the same hotel. I'm like, come on, just like 30 minutes, 30 minutes. But they really don't get alone time together before the fantasy suites. No, they're not supposed to anyway. It's supposed to all be on camera. Catch it all like Pokemon, but all of the juicy moments. What's your... Vaporeon moment. It's a water Pokemon, so you're probably jumping in the ocean. I've gone off on a tangent. Aaron Nicole wants to know, do they know who their top two are pretty early on? I mean, I think that's obvious from who is often there in the end. You know, with pretty much every recent Bachelorette, the guy who got her first impression rose ended up being the guy she picked. Chemistry matters. A first connection matters. Attraction matters. And women have great intuition. Should have listened to my intuition more in my own life personally. Thinking back. Got a couple regrets. Live and learn. Anyway. Um, another person who I think's YouTube name is VS1, Victoria's Secret 1. Mm -mm. How do the bachelors remember the names on the first day? Is there a list? The answer is they don't. <laughs> they go back and forth saying a few names and then they go and look at pictures and then they come back and sometimes people get it wrong. Katie. Man. <laughs> I'm very embarrassed to tell you this. Katie, I accidentally called out the wrong name. And Muniba asks if the contestants have to pack their bags before every single rose ceremony. Yes, they do, and I'm told they get very sick of packing. You guys, those are so many behind the scenes questions answered. Okay. I feel like I got more YouTube names wrong than I acknowledge, so I'm also gonna drink for that. And I'm just going to drink for all those contestants out there who had to go back to back in the fantasy suites. Sorry. And just cheers to you guys for giving me all those great questions. Now I'm just coming up with reasons to drink. Mm -hmm. But it's so good. <sighs> okay, now you guys had also been asking about Bachelor news. You wanted a few updates. So, so I am just going to fire things off. Shani Pottinger, oh, you sound like a wizard. Oh, Shani Pottinger wants to know. Oh, I'm being, I'm Dobby now, <laughs> the elf. Dobby the house elf. Hey, Lauren, could you please give us an update on Becca M's pregnancy? Yes, she's three months from her due date and she looks beautiful and she's happily still um, with the father of the baby and she seems great. Uh, Chantel wants to know if Clay and Angela are still dating. Yes, they post on Instagram together quite a lot. And I think they're very cute and seem like two nice people. They're doing a lot of traveling to see each other. That's important, see each other in person. Oh, I've made that mistake. I'm so busy. I don't have time to see people. 
Maureen had a question. She says, Lauren, I'm not ready to quit on Will's read. Why is he quiet? Where is he? I miss him. He's around. He's on Instagram, and he recently posted an ad for Bumble. So I think he's okay. But your concern is much appreciated and very kind. And you're not ready to quit him. <laughs> I can't. What is that from? Oh, Brokeback Mountain. I wish I knew how to quit you. I'm not ready to quit. So... Uh, Green Yet says, hopefully next week you can provide more details on the current Colton spoilers next week. How many next week? Drink every time somebody said next week. So I am not into spoilers. I don't want to give them. I think a lot of people want to just watch the show as it happens. But I will just simply tell you where filming is at right now. I do know that they wrapped filming internationally. They are now in the phase of doing hometowns. So Colton's doing hometowns right now. And pretty soon they're gonna be filming the finale. So that's gonna happen. And then we will get Colton's season in early January. Just the facts. Um, by the way, I would love to hear you guys' predictions for what kind of woman you think Colton will end up with, knowing what we know about him. I mean, he, we know he dated Becca Kufrin. We know he dated Ali Raisman, the gymnast, Tia Booth. On his past dating history, what kind of woman do you think he will go for? And I'm predicting that they're going to have some virgins on his season. It would just make sense. So will he end up with a fellow virgin? What do you think? I'm intrigued. Will Colton go back to back with people in the fantasy suite? I don't know. But I do know one thing. It's Halloween week, guys. And JC, unlike many people in this franchise, never disappoints. JC, please come show us what you wore today. Ta-da! In black and orange for Halloween, JC, everybody. All right, my friends. So this video was all about behind the scenes questions, and okay. now you don't know. He doesn't know what I'm about to do, but I'm going to grill you on some behind the scenes JC questions because people love you. Mm. What are you looking for in a woman? <laughs> I was looking for that question. I know. I know. Honesty, integrity. You know, and a lot of it now is the inside. I'm done with the crazy. He's no done crazy. with the crazy. No crazy. He's experienced some crazy. Mm -hmm. um, what physical attributes are you attracted to? Oh, I, not putting me on the spot at all. I take care of myself. I really do. And I try to stay as healthy as possible. So I like to see that in kind. Wow, what an answer. Just health. I love it. Everybody behind the scenes with JC. He's available. He did not know I was going to do that. Guys, thank you so much for watching as usual. And thank you for your patience last week. We had a lot of tech issues, but JC pulled through and we got that video up for you. It was just a little late. Next week's video is going to be the best. And by best, I kind of mean worst, but in the best way. Breakdowns ever. So leave in the comments your favorite breakdowns in history of the show. It can be a meltdown. It can be an emotional mess. It can be a rant. It can be someone angry. It can be someone who stormed off. The breakdowns. When did it all go awry? Oh, a question I ask myself quite a lot. Yikes. Okay, thank you. I love you all. Happy Halloween week. And let me know if anybody dressed up as any Bachelor folks, because that's always fun. Bye! Great. Ha, 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 ha. Vlad. No, Vlad. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> nope, we're getting you a great date. Fine. Okay. I'll take that.